welcome to today's vlog. So today I wanted to do something a little different, something a little less formal. Um, so I'm going to bring you around with me while I clean up the house and I decorate with some fall decor. So I picked up a few items at the store. I went to HomeSense, which is kind of the equivalent of um, home goods in the States. And uh, some things I had around the house already from last year. Where else did I go? We don't have a Target here in Canada. We have one across the border, but uh, we're not allowed to cross the border yet in Canada. Because of the COVID restrictions, we still can't cross. So I had to make do with whatever we had here in Canada. We don't have as many options and I miss Target. But we gotta make it work. I stopped by Walmart, stopped by HomeSense, Michaels, our local nursery, and picked up a few items. And a lot of things I DIY'd. I don't know what it is about the fall season, but it puts me in the spirit to make things with my hands. So. Um, I'll show you a couple things that I made this year. So stick around and let's get started. Here's some of the decor I'm gonna be using this year. I've got my little center tray here. I wasn't sure whether to keep this at the dining table or put it on the mantelpiece. Uh, and then I got this cute sign from Walmart. The only thing getting lit this weekend are my scented candles. So true, since I'm pregnant, nobody's getting lit right now. And then I put together some dry floral vases. Just some dry florals I've been collecting over the years. There's Nash. Here's some books that I thrifted, kind of in my color scheme. And then our local nursery here is Cedar Rim Nursery. And I picked up this pretty glass pumpkin and these white ones. And then these gold ones I just got from the dollar store, the one that Nash took a bite out of. I might have to go get some more now. Because somebody decided to take a bite out of it. What'd you do? These are some of the pumpkins that I got from our local nursery. Super cute. I am here for the pastel pumpkins, let me tell you. And then this centerpiece. So this pumpkin vase. I saw on a TikTok and I tried it out and it turned out so cute. So you just cut off the top, stick your dry florals in. Adorable. I love it. Thought about doing the rest, but I think one is good enough. And then I pulled these out of storage, my beaded garland, and also some eucalyptus faux garland um, that we used for Christmas, but I saw something on Pinterest that was super cute. So I thought I would try it out. Um, on the mantle. Every chance I get, I try to encourage Nash to pick up his own toys. Um, I want to instill that in him. That if you make a mess, you clean it up. It's kind of a rule we have around here. Here I brought out the Dyson vacuum and I love this thing. I will leave a link below. Uh, you just charge it on the wall. It's ready to go. And you can see here in Ash is um, getting upset because of the sound of the vacuum. So sometimes it helps to just hold his hand and comfort him. And then we can finish. of you struggle with toddlers while you're decorating my toddler has already taken a bite out of this pumpkin hmm. so I like to start off with a clean slate and by clean I mean take everything off and clean it wipe it down dust it do what you gotta do and when you start with a clean slate it gives you a chance to start fresh and new and get into the zone.
One tip is to use things you already have around the house. You don't always have to buy new things. Uh, don't feel obligated just because it's a new season, although it is fun to go out and see what new things they have that year. But you can also just find things around the house in your color palette that you're going for. Lay them out somewhere, like on the dining table, so you can see them while you're decorating. So I had seen this fall decor on Pinterest where they put some eucalyptus on top of the mantle and I was trying to recreate that here but after I put it up it just looked too cluttered so I ended up taking the eucalyptus down and the wood beads down and I think it looked better without all that stuff on top less cluttered, looked more minimal This is what it's like decorating with a toddler. Hmm. <laughs> Mama pretty. Mama pretty. <laughs> Love you. Hmm. I'm gonna have to sit on it. I'm not sure if I love it yet. I love you. I love you. We have to change someone's diaper. So here is the finished product. And as you can see, it looks a little different than it did yesterday. Take some time to live with it and feel it out. Live with it for a day. If you don't like it, switch it out. I still have to clean up the cords back here. Ask my husband if he can take down the sound bar and hide it somewhere else. And hey, if you don't have a fireplace, YouTube it, right? You can find anything on YouTube, guys. I think this looks the best right here. Swapped out some of these things. And I had this all filled up too on the top and it just, it looked cluttered. So I removed some things and sometimes less is more. So welcome back. It is the next day and in true mom fashion, I didn't finish what I was doing yesterday, but it's okay. I spent time with the family. I put dinner on the table. I cleaned the whole kitchen. So I'm not gonna give myself a hard time for not finishing decorating. I we're picking it back up today. I wanted to show you how I decorated the dining table, our kitchen island, and our entryway, and also our porch. Now we live in a townhouse, so we don't have like the biggest porch, mm -hmm. but I may deal with what we had. So I'll show you that as well. This year I wanted to use neutral tones to go with my decor that I already have. Um, some key items to look for when you're thinking about decorating for fall are some fall signs. Things like family, friends, Thanksgiving, gather, all of those cute kind of signs. Pumpkin patch, of course pumpkins, all kinds, real, fake, glass, whatever is your style that year. Also, you can bring in some brass candles, brass pumpkins. So here I've added the pastel colored pumpkins, which is kind of that neutral tone that I'm going for. And then I have some Himalayan salt candles that are kind of in the same color palette. And then I'm also mixing in some dry florals. These are dry eucalyptus. I'm just putting them in in all of the empty spaces and I'm trying to make it cascade out from the ends and I'm just wrapping them around each pumpkin and then to fill in any empty spaces there might be and you want to make sure that it looks good from every angle because when you have guests over sitting at your dining table they're gonna see it from all sides so you want to make sure the front looks good but also the back, the middle, the ends and here is the finished product. Another element to bring in is some dry florals. And these are great because they can last you forever if you take care of them. Um, you can also bring in some amber glass, that dark, color gives you a pop of moody tones. 
I also like to bring in some different scents like candles, cleaning products. Uh, I use the Mrs. Myers seasonal products and they make you want to clean because they smell so good and they get you in the holiday spirit. Also cooking and baking can add those fall scents to your home like baking cinnamon rolls or baking apple pie can really add that warm nostalgic feel of fall and Thanksgiving to your home. I just noticed that I had the camera zoomed in all the way. Hello. Let's see every pore that I have. So um, that's what I did for the main living space and now we're going to take you downstairs. Yeah. Uh, take you downstairs to the entryway and the porch. So here we're outside now. And here's the porch. Just put up some pumpkins and some mums. Here's Nash escaping. Go inside, honey. It's cold. Can you shut the door? Can you shut the door for mommy? Thanks, babe. How cute is this? doormat we just got and then I want to show you this wreath I made this is more colorful than some of the other decor inside but I had all of these bright orange florals laying around so I wanted to use them love it love how it turned out I did the macrame myself it's kind of a hobby that I have and then in the back you can see most of it I just zip tied and uh, hot glue. Super easy. And we can do it. Who's in there? Who's in there? Oh, welcome. Hi. And then you walk in. <gasps> oh, wow. And here's our entryway. So I also made this little wreath using pompous grass and eucalyptus, dried eucalyptus, so it can last all year long. <gasps> what is this? Is that cool? Huh? Coat hanger here. <gasps> wow! Wow! Some dried wow! Coral, some brass candles, <gasps> tiny little brass pumpkins. And that is it for my fall decorate with me video. I hope you guys have learned something new along the way. Don't forget to subscribe down below to see more videos like this uh, and hit the like button for me. It really helps me out. And uh, I had fun. This was a little different, more casual, uh, a little outside all the mommy vlog content. So this was fun to do. A little something to get my mind off of being 37 weeks pregnant at this point. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Um, Canadian Thanksgiving is in a few weeks, which is before Halloween. Being from the States, I'm still getting used to that. But, uh, you know, holidays is holidays, and I can't wait to have family over this year and actually enjoy it all together because we couldn't do it last year. Anything else to say, Nash? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.